Right, so manifolds on these are different lengths, which means you get a different fuel mixture going into one and four and two and three. So what I intend to do is make up some manifold adapters which will join those together. Some people do cut these out, but I don't want to remove any strength from that because it's actually supporting the carburetor and there's a fair bit of weight on there, so I don't want to miss that cracking. I don't have a gasket for it either, so I don't know what shape it is, so I've just shaped round with a dirty finger on there so I know roughly what size the gasket is going to be and where to put the holes. So I'll get the rest of it marked out. We'll get that marked up, ready to go, and we'll start munching some metal. So, as usual, nothing lines up, nothing runs straight and true, so I'm going to have to eyeball everything. I've got the world's longest parallels in to hold everything flat, so let's go for it. One hole. Right, I need to make these holes bigger now and join them up. As you can see, really random shape, because I'm crap at this, but hey, it might work, so I'm just going to file it out by hand now to finish it off, and then we'll look at shaping it. So, next we're in with the fly cutter. If I take that down, uh, we have five foul cut, I think. No, oh, sod it, ten. Let's go for it and see what happens. Everything's locked off. I'm a cock and I've crashed my mill. Everybody knows you never go full retard. So these rattling sounds you're about to hear. There's a couple of meat teeth missing off the toughnel gear. So um, I'm going to try and source them, which are like rocking horse poo. But hopefully I can get these last two cuts done. Just finish off the faces on these. And I'll drill them out and they'll be ready to fit after I make some washers. In this ballpark, don't need to take a lot off, just where I have been machining it and hold it in the vice and stuff so they sit flush. I'll right, we'll go with that for a start. It's locked off there, that's all locked off.
Right, so there we go, they've cleaned up our cage, a couple of little dings but nothing serious. They'll seal, they'll work, drill the clearance holes, deburred them and everything. I'll get some gaskets made up and we'll get it fitted. Uh, that one again. Better. You know what's really annoying? When you find the original gasket you could have used as a template. Cockhead. Thought I took them off. There we go. Let's see if all this fits now. Bolts out long enough. Bear with. A few minutes later. Right, annoyingly, I haven't got any cap head screws that'll fit that and the hexes don't because they actually clash with the manifold casting. So I'll have to get some longer ones. Several days later. eBay to the rescue. There we go, all fitted nice and tight, ready for the manifold to go on, which needs cleaning, which will be the next job. I managed to get a spare from them for the mill, from America of all places. America, fuck yeah. again to save the day, yeah. So hopefully I'll have that up and running again in the next few weeks and try not to break it. Hope this has helped. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If not, give us a thumb down. Tell me why. Thanks for watching.